Hello, this is Kylie with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to be going over how to create a landing page for open houses. So there's a few different ways you can work with this landing page. You can turn it into a sign-in sheet for at the actual open house. You can use it to advertise the open house. You can use it however you see fit. So once you're logged into command, let's head over to the consumer section. And as you can see, it's the last icon on the left. Once you're there, the page automatically defaults to your agent site pages. We're going to want to focus on this landing pages tab instead. So once you're ready to go, come up to the top right and click on create a new page. And you're going to choose as a landing page. The first thing you're going to want to do is give it a name. And so I would recommend putting the address and maybe open house. So what you want to do next is start adding widgets. What's nice about these widgets is you can mix and match the order. You can um, use all the ones we're going to recommend today. You can add additional ones. It's all up to you, but they're all super helpful. So we always like to start out by using the branded header. And you'll be able to add a title here. And so let's also go ahead and add the listing and the lead form. And so as you can see, I am click and dragging these to where I want them to appear. This green line is going to show you where the widget's going to go. So if you want it to go all the way at the bottom, just make sure you're dragging it all the way down. So once you've placed all your widgets, you'll want to go to the very top widget and click on it. That's going to prompt you in the bottom right to configure widgets. So if you go ahead and click on that, it'll allow you to edit each individual one. So we can start here um, by giving it a title, welcome to our open house, or you can put open house coming soon, whatever the situation calls for. So in this case, we're going to kind of turn this landing page into a sign in sheet that also has the listing information on it. So once you're happy with the edits you made to the widget, save and apply. And if you come up to the top right, you'll see it says one out of however many of these widgets that you added. Go ahead and just click that next button when you're ready. So you'll go ahead and select the listing. And you can choose to search by property address, MLS number, or the KWLS ID. In this case, we're going to search by the property address. And once you find your listing, you can go ahead and click on select. From there, you'll be able to choose this header and image. You can choose from the listing images, or you can choose a custom one. And once you're happy with your choice, go ahead and save and apply. And this may take a moment to spin. That's totally normal. And as you can see, it will populate. And you can move on to the next widget. Now, sometimes if you do readjust the widgets, um, it's going to put them out of order here. So as you can see, it jumped right to my legal footer. You can go ahead and make those edits and then just jump to the form that you need. So in this case, we can change this interest in Let's Talk information. I'm going to change it to the text we typically use for open house sheets, which is please enter your information and the property address below um, and let us know if you have any questions. This will allow those leads to go right into your command contacts. Uh, again, feel free to change this text with whatever you think is best. We're going to save and apply. And once you're happy with all your changes, go ahead and publish the page. Yes, update it. And if you come back to the landing pages tab, it's going to appear right here at the top. As you can see, we have all of our information here. And one thing that you can do is if you come over to the right side and click on these three dots, you have the option to edit the page change the URL, deactivate or delete the landing page. If you click on change the URL, you're going to be able to get rid of all these random characters at the end and change it to something more custom. 
if you do have spaces in that text, you're just going to have to replace it with a hyphen. You can create. And so now you can use this landing page again at the open house. You can send it out to advertise. It's all ready for you to go. If you do have any questions about creating one of these pages, feel free to reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. Have a great day.